Power Assist is a feature of the Victron Multi Plus and Quattro inverter chargers. If more power is needed to run devices than is available from shore power, the Victron inverter chargers can pull the additional power from the battery bank and add that power to the underperforming shore power connection. Let's take a deeper look with some more specific examples. In this video, I'm going to explain how the power assist function of Victron inverter chargers works. Let's get started. So here's a pretty simple like setup for a camper van electrical system or RV electrical setup. So we've got our shore power, AC loads, our battery bank, and then our Victron inverter charger. If we don't have shore power, battery bank power is going to our inverter and is powering the AC loads. So we're going DC power to AC power to power the AC loads. If we do have shore power, shore power is going to the multi plus and then whatever is being asked for on the other side, the coffee maker at this point, is just going right through to power the coffee maker. Whatever is left over is going to charge the battery bank. So let's say we're connected to just a 15 amp uh, household outlet, uh, which is uh, 1800 watts of power. So we've got 1800 watts here available to us. So 1800 on this side. And let's say that coffee maker is a, whatever, 1000 watt coffee maker. We've got a thousand watt coffee maker on this side. So this 1800 is going to the inverter charger and then a thousand watts is coming out the other side to power our 1000 watt coffee maker. So the, res the remaining 800 watts is going this direction to charge our battery bank. And this concept is just how an inverter charger works. It's not really a Victron thing. This is the same for Victron, for Outback, for Schneider, for whoever, really. That's just how an inverter charger works. So now here's how the power assist function works. So we've, tr we've switched over to 30 amp shore power for this particular example, which means that we have 3,600 watts available to us from shore power. That power is going to come through the multi plus to power the additional loads that I've added to this diagram. So we've got a little bit more powerful coffee maker this time around that's asking for 1500 watts. We have a rooftop air conditioner that's also asking for 1500 watts. And then we've also got um, an induction cooktop that is also asking for 1500 watts for a total of 4,500 watts. So what happens if you try to pull 4,500 watts from a 3,600 watt source like this? Well, it's just going to trip that breaker in the shore power pedestal, and then you're just going to lose all that power. So you're gonna to have to pick and choose uh, what devices you turn on at the same time. But if this is a 3,000 watt inverter, for the sake of this example, it is going to, the power assist function is going to add 3,000 watts to the 3,600 watts from shore power from the battery bank. So it's gonna be pulling up to 3,000 watts from the battery bank and then adding that to shore power to power these loads. So since we have 3,600 watts available here and we need 4,500 watts available here, the battery bank is going to supply 900 watts of power to the multi plus inverter charger or the quattro inverter charger and the power assist function is going to add that 900 watts to our 3600 watts and power the loads now this can do this up to the capacity of the inverter charger so if it's a 2000 watt inverter charger it's going to be able to add up to 2000 watts 3000 watts it'll be able to add up to that if it's a big 10,000 watt inverter charger you'd be able to add up to that as well now, obviously, that's a lot of power. I mean, trying to run a coffee maker, an air conditioner, and uh, induction cooktop all at the same time, yeah, you could absolutely, you know, get rid of one of them or get rid of two of them. But, you know, if you have this capability, if you've bought an expensive inverter charger that has that functionality, this is how it works, and that's how you would be able to use it. I have a question. What is it? <laughs> In your initial demonstration, you had 15 amp shore power here, and now you've got 30 amp shore power here. So does this power assist function work with 15 amp shore power as well? Yes, and let's talk about it. So let's change this up to 
explain that question. So if we are connected to a standard household outlet, 15 amp shore power, 1800 watts of power available to us, is this going to work? And the answer is absolutely yes. It's still going to function in the exact same way. We just have less power available to us from shore power. So shore power through our standard household outlet, like at a friend's house, their garage, or whatever the case is, is still going to go in this direction. So 1800 watts is going to go and it's going to try to power all of the loads that we have connected on this side. Now we've got 4,500 watts of power being asked for between these three loads and the 1,800 watts we have available from shore is not going to support that load, um, just the same as it wouldn't with 30 amp shore power from earlier. So the battery bank here uh, is going to uh, provide the additional power through the inverter charger up to 3000 watts, since this is a 3000 watt uh, inverter charger for this particular example. We have 2700 watts coming from the battery bank to the inverter charger, being added to the 1800 watts from shore power to power all 4500 watts worth of these loads. Now let's say you're at a friend's house and you're plugged into just an outlet in their garage, but then they've also got some lights on that same circuit or stereo, or they've got some other loads going on. And so you've only got, let's say we turn the uh, max input current limit on the MultiPlus down so that we're not tripping their breaker inside of their breaker box at their garage. Let's say we set that input limit to 10 amps to tell the MultiPlus to pull no more than 10 amps from that 15 amp outlet so that we're not tripping the breaker that we're attached to. We're still asking for 4,500 watts on this side of the system, so we need to see how we can get 4,500 watts to all of these loads. We've got 1,200 watts from our shore power right here, and then we've got 3,000 watts, or up to 3,000 watts for our inverter charger here. So we've got 3,000. 3,000 watts coming from the battery bank and adding to the 1,200 watts we have available from shore power, which is only 4,200 watts. And so we don't have enough capacity on this side to power off of those loads. So if this is the case, um, you have to pick and choose which loads that you're going to power at one time. You know, maybe you need to wait for the coffee maker to uh, finish brewing your coffee before you fire up the induction cooktop to make your bacon or you know you need to turn off the air conditioner while you're making breakfast or whatever the case is you just had to be more choosy on that side because you've exceeded the limits of the power that you have available to you what if you have a generator if you have a generator in your system uh, it's going to act the exact same way as shore power here if you have let's say a 3000 watt generator then you're going to have 3000 watts being able to power the uh, the MultiPlus. So generator and shore power are generally, you know, interchangeable here because a generator, generator and shore power is going to go through a transfer switch. And that transfer switch is going to choose either generator power or shore power, whichever is available. Uh, that's for the MultiPlus. If you have a Victron Quattro, uh, it simply has a transfer switch built in. So the generator would just go to the Quattro, and that transfer switch would just pick whichever source is active, shore power or generator. And that's how Power Assist works. I hope you found this video helpful, and let me know in the comment section if you like these types of videos, and if you have any ideas for other videos that are similar to this. We'll see you next time.